Good morning. My name is Akesh Gupta and I'm from Lightspeed Solutions. Today I'm going to present to you the approach for using RNSpeed Designer to build user controls also known as ASCX controls as well as use these generated user controls in RNSpeed web applications. If you have used RNSpeed Designer before you have made an impressive looking web application with just a few clicks. Let's take a look at one such example. Here's an example of a Northwind database where just by clicking a few options in the wizard we were able to make a pretty good looking app where we can manage all customers, we can man manage orders, I can edit an order, I can edit a customer and so on. Please note that no fee field level and or code customizations have been executed so it's a pretty standard application right out of the box. If you explore at the type of pages RNSpeed has generated you definitely will see ASPX pages which are the web application pages or web pages. In addition you will definitely observe certain controls which have the extension of an ASCX like header.ascx and footer.ascx. The purpose of the user controls or the ASCX controls is to define the control once but instantiate it or use it at as many, as many places as you wish to still keeping the source of that control only at one place. Not sure if the question has crossed your mind that just like making web application in RNSpeed, can we make user controls in RNSpeed? So that we can consume those user controls in various pages without creating them individually for each page? In our example of Northam database, let's say there's that we have a business requirement to show the latest five orders for a customer whenever someone is viewing a customer either from a customer section or from a order section. Of course one approach would be to go back to the edit customer page, show customer page, edit order page and show order page and build some type of table showing you the last five orders for each customer. The drawback here is that if we need to make changes to the, those last five order for each page individually it is not only cumbersome but it's also prone to errors since we may miss one out of the four. Let's take a look at our approach how we can make a user control to display the last five orders for a customer and then how to consume that user control in all the pages where we would have otherwise done the code by hand. To begin with we'll go back to the orders folder right click on it select new select control ASCX system will automatically generate a page my page dot ASCX let's rename it to say my last five orders to begin with it's a totally empty section we'll go to panels expand all the tables expand the table for orders select the show table page drag and drop in this particular case let's leave the heading let's get rid of expand and collapse toggle button leave the column heading we do not need pagination control because we will be defaulting our page to our table to five rows no scrolling necessary and we can hide all the buttons since we will not need any table level or the row level buttons in this particular case. Let's click next. We can select which fields we are interested to see. Let's show order ID at the top. We can show order date and ship date and let's just leave it with these three fields. Click next. We do not want any search capabilities or the filter capabilities for this particular ASCX control. We can build it just to generate the appropriate code behind files and so on. By default we have just displayed all the orders from the order table 
but since we don't have a pagination control system will only show you five records on the very first page the mere fact that it's an ASCX extension I cannot make it a default page because the ASCX ex extensions or the user controls cannot exist on their own we need to define this user control to have some conditions like by default we only want it to show the last five orders for the customer you are viewing so let's assume that where whichever page we are going to use this user control we have a query string of customers coming in this way we can easily right click on it press query click where and add a where clause where on the orders table customer ID will be equal to URL parameter customers while we are there let's also order by order date in, in descending order this way it will show me my last orders first let's build it and the user control is ready let's try to use this user control let's go to my edit page for customers this is the top screen where we are able to see the customer information and so on and on the right side we can select multiple rows right click on it click on merge cells to make one big section in order to consume the user control that we just built we will definitely use it just by doing point and click because we do not want to write code manually so let's click on the gen tag or gen tab I apologize you will find a component here in toolbox by the name include component drag and drop the drag and drop the include component double click on the include component and browse for that ASCX control that we just made and click OK build it now if you understand how iron speed uses the parameters while opening a page you definitely know that when the edit button is clicked the system basically goes and tries to open the page edit customer ASPX page and is passing a parameter by the name customers in this case since the customer parameter is being passed as an XML format we need to change it to a field value rather than a primary key format so what I'm doing here is I'm editing the properties of the button click event and in this particular case we are going to change it from selecting primary key to field value of customer ID the same thing we will do for my view, bu view button click of course this is necessary because we do not want to write a single line of code if we were to write, write a single line of code uh, we could easily avoid making this change and write the code to build the where clause via the code customization in addition when we are going to go to the order page and we are viewing an order by default only the order ID is being sent as a query string in this case we will be adding another parameter by the name customers from the selected or the clicked row and the field value will be customer ID and we are doing the same thing for both the edit button as well as the view button here I go to the view button I click the link I can add another parameter by the name customers I want to make sure that everyone understands the reason we are adding a parameter in this particular case is because the customers was not passed by default but in case of a customers show table page the customer ID was being passed by default we will probably repeat the same thing that we did to include the ASX control on the edit customer on the other three pages so on the show customer page we select the multiple rows merge the cells include the component double click on this component browse for the ASCX control 
and let's go to the edit orders same thing select the rows merge the cells bring in the include component from the toolbox double click on it and browse for the ASCX control it is important to remember that you must build the ASCX control before you can start consuming it otherwise you will not see when you will try to do the browse build it and let's run it if I just try to refresh this particular screen which was showing me all the customers here you go here we can see my customers I can edit a customer ALF KI and I can see for that particular customer these last five orders I can say cancel go to another customer and I can see his five orders well as you can notice only four orders are being displayed because probably this customer only has four orders one of the things you can do is you can click on the orders tab to confirm that this person only has four orders as you can see we are now comparing the data that is being displayed with the orders table which is being shown to you at the child table to prove that our data is working out right let's go to my order tables and I can edit an order and while looking at the order I can also see the customers last five orders so as you notice that we only define the user control once but were able to consume it or use it in many pages now if we need to make a change say for example in this particular case I would like to change the heading from orders to say my last five orders what would I do I would go to my user control I will go to my user control go to my title area double click on the order title and rather than saying orders I can say my last five orders and build and as part of this if I go back to my customers of course the page has to refresh here click on the edit I can say that my user control got updated my last five orders if I go back to my customers go to view same thing and let's just confirm that it's working for my orders page as well so folks uh, here I was able to demonstrate how easily I can use RSP designer to build user controls and then consume these user controls in RSP web pages I hope you can utilize this method to build common modules which are applicable across multiple pages and use RSP designer in the most effective format thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video Thanks.